Most folks have a, a conception that brain surgery means a shaved head and a big ugly scar. The idea of minimally invasive brain surgery in general, whether it be with endoscope or with a microscope, with minimally invasive techniques, uh, the idea behind that is to do get in and take the tumor out or take a biopsy or whatever it happens to be uh, with minimal injury or retraction or danger to the normal brain tissue. It also uh, would be with the idea of uh, moving the least amount of tissue out of the way to get there, whether it be superficial tissue in the scalp uh, or the bone itself, so working through small holes to get the job done uh, while still getting a, a good job done at the same time. So endoscopic brain surgery is uh, using an endoscope, which is a light and a camera on the end of a long metal tube, and we use that to look into places that otherwise would be very hard to see. Uh, so we use it primarily and also adjunctively to uh, be able to see, to assist, to do brain tumor surgery. So, uh, for instance, if we make small incisions or work through the nose to take out a tumor at the base of the skull, uh, we can use the endoscope to look into those areas to get better light and visualization to uh, see the, uh, the thing that we're trying to resect. It's when we do a surgery through the eyebrow. Uh, they may have a little bit of soreness in the eye, uh, maybe a little bit of bruising, but uh, most folks are able to get up and walk around that afternoon or evening uh, and a large majority of the patients actually go home the next day. When they wake up and all they have is a small band-aid over their eyebrow or uh, they have a little bit of packing in their nose and that's it, uh, they're, they're always uh, very excited. The family members are always uh, uh, very appreciative of the fact that, uh, that they can go home and go out to eat that night and nobody would know the difference.